Now we're gonna talk about one of the most serious injuries that can happen, and that's called a concussion. It's, it happens when the brain inside the skull moves because of an abrupt stop or a striking of the head, and the brain literally slaps the inside of the skull. Coup is one direction, contra coup is the other. And in serious head injuries, that abrupt stop can, can basically shut the brain down so fast that the patient falls unconscious. That is an automatic 911 call. Even if they begin to recover afterwards, it's still a 911 call because that type of traumatic injury is bad enough that it could develop into a life-threatening issue. But in this scenario, let's say that he did not get knocked unconscious. Let's just say that this player might be feeling other signs and symptoms that could indicate they have a mild to a severe concussion. So one of the first things that they might indicate is that their head hurts. That's pretty common. They just hit it. But one of the other things we want to check for, can you look at me? Can you look right at my nose? Is can they, can they follow your finger? Are they able to track with their eyes? Try to hold your head still and just watch with your eyes. There you go. That's good. Do you, can you see me clearly? Is it nice and clear? So blurred vision, that's an indicator that there might be some swelling in there. So we want to watch for that. We're also going to check for dizziness, loss of balance. He's kind of listing off to one side or the other. Or when I looked into his eyes, I could see that his eyes, he looked like he just came off from like a merry-go-round, where his eyes are kind of trying to track with me, but they're going around and around. That's an indicator that they may be dizzy and, and not being able to keep their balance as well. I'm then going to move on down and look for signs of nausea or vomiting. Um, they might also have a loss of memory where they're just not sure what they were doing. You know, wh where am I? Uh, do you know you were playing soccer? Soccer, why am I at the soccer field? So they might have this acute loss of memory, which is another indicator of a pretty serious concussion. If any of these signs and symptoms are present, dazed, confused, all of these put together, we're going to call 911 and get the ambulance on the way. This is a situation where, though it might be a mild to moderate concussion with no life-threatening issues, we don't want to take any chances. If we're going to make an error, err on the side of the patient. Get them into the ER and make sure we get them checked out. This is a child that's going to need to be monitored for the next 24 hours to make sure we don't have any progressive issues as the swelling might increase and the symptoms become worse. The goal is that the symptoms are already present and they're going to get less and less. That's that's the idea. Now make no mistake, and this is a big issue right now nowadays, if this child has any one or more concussion symptoms, they are not to go back to work or play until they get a clean bill of health from the healthcare professional that states that they've been symptom free for X amount of time and now they can go back to play.